Today I'm going to show you how to fold the paper plane that I used to win Red Bull Paper Wings. I will speed up the part where I, I unfold it and then I'll fold it again because this will be way quicker. I will also post a tutorial that will be quite longer where I basically do the model from start. So let's go. So this is the completely unfolded version of the plane. So now we can actually start to fold it. So the first fold is very important and it will be a very, very easy fold. It's a tri triangle fold in which you want to achieve a completely sym symmetrical with this bottom line. Now it will not look like that because this is a folded plane, but you want it to be very symmetrical and completely with this line here. So it needs to be completely the same as the line at the bottom. Now what you need to do is measure with your ruler here. You will see a line, maybe you don't, but it doesn't matter. So from here to this line where we need to fold 45 and a half millimeters. So from this point where we made the fold and to the point uh, that you see here, it will be 148 millimeters. Now that we did that, you need to fold this line completely on the line that we managed to make here. So from the point 45.5 millimeters to 148 millimeters. So that fold is very important because this is the first fold. You will make a line and that line will uh, be used as a direction for this first fold that you see here. So this needs to be parallel to that line. We also need to do the fold for this part here. And to do that, you need to open up the plane like this and try to make this point almost where we have this fold made. You will see that very easily once you make your fold. You will see it. It will not be that hard to see it. It will be very, very close to the to the point of our uh, paper plane. So somewhere around here. Because this is folded, you will not see it that well. So now that we did that and our first fold, now you need to be very precise with folding uh, each next fold. It needs to be very, very precise and very, very tight. So the next one is going to go like this. Then we have the next fold. And now we have a problem with this step here because we need to use this for throwing that I'll show you after. You'll need to measure from this point at the end of the plane to here. It will be 195 millimeters. You need to measure it on the other side as well. Once you do that measurement, then you can basically fold this exactly at that point. Now the problem is going to be that this part here is going over the line and this part here is going over this line. So you need to make just a very, very small fold. So it's exactly following this line here. So a small fold here and a small fold at the end of this as well. Now we have the next fold, which is again pretty easy and pretty straightforward. You just need to follow the line that, that is going here. Then you need to measure from somewhere around here. You will see if, if the other part of the paper is going over the tip uh, of the bottom of the plane and you need to measure it somewhere around here. It will depend on each fold, but it should be something like this to the angle and make the angle with your ruler. And you will see that this is the fold that I actually made, but it needs to be precise. So it doesn't go over this part of the plane that is the back of the plane. Then we fold it again, again following the line that we followed before as well. Then we, you can see that we have this problem here. So we again need to use the ruler and measure it and basically fold it inwards. So fold it inwards. Now 
we need to make another again a fold so it's going basically in circles it's pretty straightforward there and you will see that we have a problem as well here because this point is sticking out so you again need to measure it with the ruler so you have a line here and then fold it just a little bit downwards and put it put it down so now we have at the back a straight line and now we just need to fold one fold again then another one then another one like this and I think once more but we will check so I think this is the last one and yes this is the last one for some kind of a reference if you want to know this part here should be uh, about 85 millimeters once we end this part here so now that we have done this part you need to find a, an exactly middle part of your plane and put a line or put a ruler or put it at the edge of the table and make that fold exactly in the middle like this now that we, ha we have done that you will need to make the winglets as well you'll also try to find the middle and fold it in the middle it will be pretty easy at the back of the plane to fold it but once you go to the front to the part that you see here it will be way harder and harder so you will not be able to fold it once you come very very close to the top of the plane so you will fold it as we said you will fold it completely then you need to do the same same exact thing on the other side while this is open as well you don't want to you to use this any uh, anymore at the moment but you just want to fold it exactly at the middle at the other side as well so fold it again you will not be able to go past somewhere around this point but that doesn't matter you don't need to fold it exa exactly to the top of the plane now we have the regular plane as you can see here but we have this part which will help us uh, make the top of the plane completely stiff and it will hold it in the position that it should be now you would like to use the clippers put the clippers at the middle line here and now you want to fold this part over over the top and now you could use uh, a pen to maybe use this and push it a little bit down sometimes you can use your hand as well it depends sometimes you want to use a ruler to just push it down so it takes that kind of fold now you need to push the fold here as well to the other side now to continue you will need to take this and I usually put it around here somewhere so it just fold, holds the fold that we did on top and then we need to just go around again just try to make this fold a little bit tighter and now that we folded it at the bottom as you can see you just need to go around and around it's it's pretty simple pretty straightforward uh, until the end and at the end it will be a bit problematic but you'll see and once you come to this part at the end as you can see that this is basically the end this will not go anymore around it will just go here but I'll show you how so once you come to this part here depending on the fold and everything it should look like this if you followed it completely but sometimes it differs but it doesn't matter try to make the fold exactly straight that is horizontal to the plane so horizontal to the plane like this and this is the first fold that you will be making so this is the first fold and now you can see that it's completely horizontal to the plane and you just push it down again now we again need to use this clipper to put it here so it holds now we need to push this down as well and now you see that we have left with this small part uh, that you see here so now this fold is going to be uh, the hardest fold of the plane I think up, up until now everything was pretty straightforward but this is pretty much uh, maybe the hardest fold that you you will be doing here 
So as you remember, we did the straight fold here. Now we need to make some changes to this this fold that is that you see the small fold that you see here. So this fold is going to be uh, a little bit hard to do. So firstly, the main point is to make this go inside this part here. I'll use the pliers so I can show you. We want this to be pushed in in this hole here. So as you can see with the pliers, it's way easier to to make that hole a little bit better. We need to do a couple of stuff before before we actually do the fold. So so we need to push this part in like this, as you can see. And once we do that fold, it will not go over, but it will go under here. So it will go under here. And now we have that sharper edge that can actually go through uh, through the hole that we made here. Uh, but this is still not not good enough because it cannot be pushed inside because it's over this edge, as you can see. So it it cannot be over this edge here. And in order to go into the hole, you'll need to make a fold that is a very small fold like this. So as you can see, it will go like this. And now once I push it, you will see that this is this can actually go into uh, the bottom part of the plane. And now we have our plane where this needs to go inside this hole here. And in order to do that, you will need to make this a little bit softer just by folding it and going back and folding it and going back and folding it and going back. And once you do that, you can make it like this. And once you make it go uh, horizontally to the plane, you could push it in with your pliers or with some kind of tool that, that can help you push it in inside this hole, he hole here. Because it will be very hard to push it with the hands. So as you can see, I push this part in, then I push the rest, then I need to be very slowly be pushing inside. As you can see, I already damaged the, the paper, but it's still going in quite smoothly, even though it's folded twice and even thrown a lot of times. And if you remember, this is pretty much very similar to the starting point when the plane was unfolded. So something like this. Of course, this needs to be a lot tighter. You can see that there is a hole here and that's very bad. It, this needs to be way, way tighter and it will be when, if you fold it right and if you fold it only once. So this is the plane and how it looks. Uh, what uh, is also important is that you have some space here as well. You don't want to uh, have this completely, completely sticking to each other like this because this will not fly well. You do not throw it like this. You do not throw it like this. You do not throw it like this. You could throw it basically completely upside down. So upside down like this, you need to put your finger at the end like this, as you can see and then put the other two fingers somewhere around the middle. As you can see, the folds are following my fingers and something like this. And you need to throw it like this, where you go like this. Everything should be also practiced. So you will not be able to throw it like this the first time, but in time you will, you will learn to throw it like this. So as you can see, it's, hold, it's hold it like this. Or if you want another angle, but it's basically hold, you hold it like this and you throw it like this. Throwing it as a baseball or javelin works as well.